now. Your first alert five weather. A cold front has pushed through Colorado Springs. That's why we're cooler now than earlier. And that wind has shifted to the northeast, pushing in that cooler air. Humidity values going up 34% right now. Still sunshine, beautiful and balmy in Pueblo. You can see the cold front hasn't made it in by that wind direction. Still out of the west when the front gets to your area. Winds will switch to the north, ushering in that cooler air for your finally Friday. But we'll make it up to you over the weekend. It's really going to be nice, especially on Sunday. Everybody out of the house. 76 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And in Pueblo, you want to open up the windows, air out that house by Sunday. 83 degrees. You'll need uh, sunscreen on Sunday. Blue sky sunshine, a little breezy during the afternoon. All right, here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. More moisture in the atmosphere, going to heat up just enough, create a little instability around here. So I've got a few PM rain showers in your forecast, maybe a weak thunderstorm. I think a little better chance of seeing thunderstorms the further east you go out across the eastern plains. I'll explain that in detail right now. We start at 6 o'clock this evening. A few light showers possible across the Pikes Peak region. This model wants to bring in a couple of showers across portions of Pueblo County by 8 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock, maybe a few snow showers over Teller County up on top of Pikes Peak as well. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine as we work through the day tomorrow. Those clouds really thicken up during the afternoon and there you go with that moisture starting to uh, see a few showers start to build up and maybe some weak thunderstorms by 5 p.m. out across the plains. Those thunderstorms show a little more intensity out near the Kansas border by late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Red flag warning active until 8 o'clock tonight for far southeastern Colorado. Stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire. Take a look at our current temperatures. You can see that cold front locked up right between the springs in Pueblo. 43 in Monument right now. 75 is the current temperature in La Junta. Overnight low temperatures tonight. Really not bad for this time of the year. Bunch of 30s here across southeastern Colorado. Tomorrow for your finally Friday. Not as warm as what you had today. Temperatures dropping back into the 40s and 50s here along the I-25 corridor. But the weekend is what it's all about. And it is going to warm dramatically. Sunday, we haven't been that warm in the past three weeks. 76 degrees. Again, and sunshine breezy during the afternoon. Downright windy on Monday. That's going to blow in the next Pacific storm system. There it is, late Tuesday into Wednesday. Rain changing to snow Tuesday night. That snow should linger into early Wednesday morning. Already enough confidence to go with a two on that storm impact scale. In Pueblo, temperatures all over the place. You get 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s all squeezed into the next seven days. Gorgeous weekend. Couldn't have asked for anything nicer than that for the last weekend of April. Windy, warm on on Monday, then you cool down rather significantly by next Wednesday, a high back into the 50s. But the bottom line, you will get much needed moisture late Tuesday into at least Wednesday morning. And for Canyon City, afternoon highs perfect just in time for the weekend. Still windy and warm on Monday and then much needed moisture in your forecast from Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night into at least Wednesday morning. For Woodland Park, a passing rain or snow shower cool tomorrow at 45. Good looking warming trend just in time for the weekend and then more snow by the middle part of next week. Those are April showers mountain style, a two on the storm impact scale. Alex.